Hello guys, my name is Kiki and this is part 2 of my GPU repair challenge. If you saw my previous repair uh, video then you could see that I bought 3 RTX 3060 Ti graphics card from 3 different vendors and I am trying to fix them. In the first one I could fix uh, an Asus Tough Gaming 3060 Ti and in this video I am going to work on this Founder Edition RTX 3060. So let's see if I can fix it. Let's get started. Okay, so here she is. It is in a bit, pretty decent shape. No reasonable scratches, nothing really. I can see something here in the fan, what I have to remember. It's not supposed to be there, but this is just some kind of tar dust. Let's take it apart and Let's do some measurements. Okay, so taking it apart, the first thing that I recognize is that similarly to the previous one, the thermopaste is completely dry. Really, I could just break it to pieces. Completely dry. Look at this. I just grab on with my fingers and nothing happens. It's completely dry. Will I be so lucky like with the previous one that just dry thermopaste. I have no idea. But we will figure this out hopefully. Look at this. It's, it's like rock, rock solid. Really weird. Okay, so I zoom in a little bit. I will grab my multimeter and I will do some resistance measurement. Let's start here in the 12 volt fields. 13k, no short. 3.3, 21k, no short, let's see here, the 12 volt connector, 78k, it's perfectly fine, there is one power rail here, 12k, I assume this is memory, Maybe this pad goes there. Let's see here. These capacitors, 30 ohm. See what kind of some. Uh, do we have Samsung chip? Yes, these are Samsung chips. 200 ohm, this is maybe 1.8 volt. And then this is the core. This is most probably PEX. 15 on, I think it's fine. Cannot really measure these to measure from the other side. Zero point five ohm. I find this a little bit low. I will check if I find some board view from this. I will check what is this. What is this voltage rail right here? There is another one here. It's 5k, it's maybe 5 volt. 
6k it's it's fine okay so this one is also one of the core phase it looks like so it's normal that it's low let's see if it measures similar to the other ones here no inductor there so. yeah it's the same 0 0.58 five one is the same like here okay so it looks like we do not have any shorts here I will supply power to the board and I will go through the the voltage rails if we have all the voltage power rails okay so everything is connected I will turn it on it draws one amp it looks normal to me let's measure packs because if we have packs yeah 0 0.96 so most probably we have everything we have 12 volt here yeah, 1.8 here sorry 5 volt here I'm holding my hand on this one to see if it's overheating but it's not 1.35 so I'm already zone this is not connected so 0 0.75 okay so we have all the, all the voltages over the, all the power rails on so I will put it into my PC I will assemble it together just enough for testing I will definitely put some good thermal paste on it remove this one completely and I will put fresh MX5 thermal paste on it and I will put it into the PC and do some memory testing with the help of mats. So I will be back from there. Okay, so I have put the graphics card into my PC. I connected my flash disk with mats installed. Let's turn it on and let's see if we have a picture. First we will look at the blue light. Yes, we do have a blue light. Do we have a cursor? Yes, we have picture. Good, really good. It will automatically run a certain basic maths test, only on half of the screen, but later on I will I will run a 50 megabyte one with the 3060 version. And we have a pass with zero errors so let's let's run now the 3060 version so cd 455.107.3060 we have to turn off the cursor because it might cause errors with t put cvs As you can see, it's not blinking anymore. And now we will run mats. E and let's run 50 megabyte. And hit enter. And as you can see, now it's running on the entire screen. Looks quite promising. And we have a pass again with zero errors that sounds good so let's power it off and let's put into windows looks promising for sure with the wrong resolution but we have to wait for the driver might take like 10 seconds okay now looking for the driver and we have the right resolution I will just run GPU Z quickly and uh, if everything is fine I will start OBS and I will start sharing the screen of my PC 
So as you can see, we have an RTX 3060 Ti, GDDR6 Samsung memory, 8 gigabytes of memory. Everything looks okay. Let's look at the sensors quickly. Yeah, everything is fine. Okay, so I will boot into, I will start OBS now and I will be back with sharing my screen and we will start start some testing for Mark even and so on and so on. Okay, so now you should be able to see my screen. 3060 Ti, everything is fine here. I will start even now. Let's see if we have any artifacts. Let's see our temperatures. But I can see here that this is definitely running slightly hotter than the, than the one yesterday. The Asus Tough Gaming with the three vents never reached 72 degrees. But I know this because I also have an RTX 3070 Founder Edition. And that one is also running really hot around in the 80s, like this one, you can see, 79 degrees. And the fan speed is only 36%, so it let itself run super hot. For sure you can change the fan characteristics to kick in earlier and then keep the temperature slower, and I would definitely recommend to do this, because it's not that good if temperatures are like 80 to 83 degrees in the hotspot. Okay, yeah, the general GPU temperature is like 70 degrees only. I would say this is still safe, but it's definitely better if, it, if it's around 70, 70 to 70, maximum 75 degrees. You can see it's, the fan is spinning only on 42%, so it could make it significantly co cooler. Good news is that there are no artifacts. So, as case of the one yesterday, I will run this test, this GPU test further. I will continue testing the card. I will do some gaming on it. Start still volley in 2K resolution. This one is also good. No artifacts fun so whatsoever. Temperatures are similar, like in Hever. 100% GPU load and close to 100% power consumption. So this is good. Okay, so I think that's all for this video, guys. Unfortunately, this was again a boring boring one for sure i'm kind of happy that i can make my money back and hopefully i can also make some money but i'm a little bit disappointed that i cannot make a really good video because at the end i only ex exchange the thermal paste okay guys so that's all for this video i hope you liked it i hope you found it helpful if yes please don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and I hope I see you next time. Bye.